Uh, take us through that last four minute stretch, starting with your uh, four point play. Um, I want to start out by saying this was a great team team win, great role win. Um, we battled through adversity, you know, when they went on a run. Uh, but that last five minutes, uh, that that stretch was, you know, we call it five to grind. So we we, we try to get as many stops as possible within that five uh, five minutes. Um, yeah, and we just we just came together and and talked it out and figured out the things that we needed to do uh, to win. So, did you guys kind of get a little loose with some possessions there for a stretch in the second half? I feel like we did get a little complacent. Uh, we played the scoreboard, but uh, we 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 figured out how to you know get back together and doing the right things. And describe uh, Desi Seals kick out to you on the sideline in your three pointer. That was a great that was a great pass by Desi Seals. Uh, coach always talks about getting P tools, so I drove the drove and kicked to him, and he drove it and made a, a great pass to me, and I shot it, and it was a four point play. So. I feel like Desi played really well today. Uh, it might not have shown in the stat sheet, but his energy and his passion, his will to win was was really good today. And then how quickly did you see Naquan Tomlin on the steal and dish on the dunk? I mean, yeah, we, we practice a lot together, and I know what he's capable of on a fast break. Um, so when he gave it up, I know that I was going right back to him because he was trailing, so the rest is just has to be. Thanks, Marquise. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, next, next question, question Arnie Green. Green. Yeah, Marquise, um, you talked about the the behind the back pass. What about the uh, what about the outlet thing? End of that run, uh, you got the steal, and then do you see Naquan breaking? Yeah, once I got got the steal, I looked up the floor and I saw him sprinting down the court um, like he always does. And I just, you know, gave it to him. And he finished with a great dunk that gave us some energy. So I feel like he played really well on the defensive end. Uh, he scored the ball, but he had a lot of big time blocks and a lot of big time rebounds. So. And maybe talk a little bit about the first time if it looked like your team defense was really good. You, you denied ask you the ball and it seemed like just made it difficult shots off. I feel like that first half was really special. We showed uh, what we are capable of. Um, we came out and really played aggressive with them and caused them to turn the ball over. And that that's what led us to get easy transition points. Um, but yeah, that first half, we, we, we did a really good job of being in gaps um, and, and no one's scouting personnel. So. If we could just put a, put in two halves of that, we would be a really good good special team. Anything else, Arnie? I'm good. Thanks. Uh, next question to Ryan Gilbert. Hey, Marquise, what things did uh, Cal do well in the second half to, to get on that run and get back into the game? Uh, can you repeat the question again? What things did Cal do well in the second half to get back into the game? Uh, they pressured us. Uh, they were down 20 points um, because there was, I felt like they was complacent, but the second half they picked it up, uh, kind of blew up our screens um, and hit shots. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing. So. Thank you. Uh, next, next question, question is Yeah, Marquise, uh, what's what's different about you this year? It seems like you're already playing with March confidence right now. Oh man, what's going on? First and foremost, this guy, you know, you my man. Uh, but just I prepared overly prepared this summer. So that's what led me to have this, this much confidence. And I believe in my teammates, most importantly. Uh, we have a lot of good guys from all different, you know, walks of life. And, you know, I just trust them and, you know, they trust me. And that's what's, what's allowing us to have this much success. So it's really it's really good all, all, all around the board with, with coach believing in me, my teammates believing in me. And, you know, we just coming together to make good things happen. So. 
I, I know it's a lot of work, but how much fun are you having? I'm having a lot of fun, man. Each and every day, you know, on the basketball court, off the basketball court, I'm having fun. I'm laughing. I'm joking with the guys. You know, it's a great atmosphere here. And if I have a kid, you know, I would recommend, you know, coming to K-State. That's how much fun I'm really having. So. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Appreciate you, man. Uh, next, next question, question to, to Tim. Tim. Hey, Marquise. I mean, yeah, you guys almost gave up, up the 20-point lead, but, but what does it say about you guys that they got down to – you were up one and you were able to kind of fight off that, that, that final push there at the end? Uh, we just stay with, with it. You know, we – we know that good teams make runs and we on the road. You know, coach always talks about how hard road games are. And for us to, to pull through um, with that type of adversity and this type of hostile environment was pretty special. And, you know, we could just keep building on this and continue to keep, you know, putting one foot in front of the other. So. What, what are coaches saying to you whenever, you know, offense isn't coming easy. They're they're starting to get things going a little bit offensively. What 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 are they kind of saying to you on, on the sidelines to try to get get things back on 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 track there? It's really not our offense. We know that we can score. Uh, we have a lot of good guys on our team that, that can score the ball. It's really on the defensive end. Um we 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 in the first half we did a good job of icing the ball screens um and not letting them come middle. But in the second half we let up on that and it was able to get you know, come off the ball screen and get middle. And once you get middle, there's a lot of different opportunities, a lot of different things you can see. So I feel like that's where we let up uh, at, and we just have to do a better job, you know, watch film, get better. Thanks, Marquise. Have a safe trip home. You too. Oh, you're home, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one second, we'll, uh, we'll get Keontae on here. Or Cole, do you want to? Yeah, yeah no, I just. I just had a quick one, Marquise. I'm curious because um, you guys didn't go on the road this early in the season last year. How much, I guess, how important do you think a road win like this, this early on in the season, will help you come Big 12 play and even later? It's big time because, you know, you know, Big 12 play is, is really difficult to win on the road. And, you know, Coach said he wanted to schedule this game, you know, early in the season because he wanted us to, to face adversity and go, you know, on the road and, and win and pull through. And I feel like with this road win, we, we were able to get, you know, some experience from it. And as Big 12 play and as the season go on, we'll be more familiar with, with the road. So it's pretty fun. Okay, we'll switch it up and put Keon.